JD here, and as you can see, we are back on F122 as always. And in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing two races that I did recently where I feel like this is the best I've driven on the game so far. And this is on the Xbox platform against a very competitive group of drivers. So hopefully you enjoy this. But as you can see by the title of this video, this isn't the main topic that we will be discussing today. And that is a series of screenshots that have actually been leaked by some people on Twitter, which kind of suggests that we will be having some DLC tracks added to the game. So. Basically, the purpose of this video is really to ask your opinion. Do you think these are legit? Or do you think they have been faked? And if we show one image here, a lot of people seem to think that this is not real at all. Um, because if you look at the mirrors, it doesn't really suggest that it's actually on the same track so yeah feel free to pause the video and zoom in <laughs> with your microscopes and i'll let you be the judge on whether you think this is legit or not and if we take a look at this screenshot here it does suggest if we count so one two three four five six seven eight there could be eight editions going on so portamao shanghai hockenheim istanbul sepang Nürburgring and the Sakir Alta Leo and Mugello on F122. So obviously we've had Portimao before, so that'd be quite simple. Shanghai we've had before, Hockenheim before, Istanbul. I think the last time we had that was on F1 2012, I'm going to say. Um Sepang, we've had that before. Nürburgring we've had before. Sakir Alta Layout. Uh, we haven't actually had that one before. We've had the short version, but we didn't actually get the official layout like they raced on last season. And uh, Magello, I believe we haven't had that on F1 game. I played it on a set of Corsa, and it was one of my favourite tracks that I've ever driven on. But we haven't had it on the F1 game. So I'll throw it up here once again, and you be the judge. So... No, it's quite easy to fake things <laughs> these days, but part of me can't help but feel quite excited. Because uh, in the past, I know uh, from being on the inside that the reason why a lot of tracks couldn't be added to the game as a DLC was maybe, or mainly due to not kind of that like sponsorship issues, but kind of a licensing issues where the official F1 game had to have just the official tracks anything additional could be a conflict of interest and f1 is very strict on things such as this so maybe it might start to be a little bit more flexible and um, because having these additions honestly i think every one of these tracks would be an absolutely um, amazing addition but part of me actually feels like this could be legit and um, because if you look at this screenshot here you can see this is a screenshot the one below is from uh, the previous f1 game so last time i had hockenheim i think was on 2019 and if you look at the one above it looks like there is an extra grandstand and um, obviously the sponsorships on the barriers which no matter how good you are on photoshop i think would be uh, quite difficult to actually edit in so I don't know it it looks like it could be maybe I'm just thinking more of my heart than my head because I would absolutely love to see this but yeah you never know it might be too good to be true so yeah I really wanted to hear what your opinions are make sure you follow these guys on Twitter because they are the ones who supplied this information so I'm not taking credit for it whatsoever but yeah what would you like to see um, are you happy if these are actually the tracks are these good additions or 
what would you actually like to be added to the game itself? You know, would there be something else fundamentally that you feel would be a better addition um, to the games? But for me personally, I think having these, having... I don't know how many tracks that would actually add up to. It could be up to almost 30 tracks. Yeah, I was pretty disappointed on previous games, um, especially that last game with the new updated layouts of Melbourne, or Melbourne, sorry if I'm saying that right, or Abu Dhabi, and you know, we didn't even get Magello. And you know, I'd love to see maybe Vietnam come, come in as a DLC because I absolutely love driving that track on, I think it's F1 2020 when we last had that. And I think a lot of tracks that haven't been used could be an absolutely great addition to the game, but I know from previous experience and speaking to people at Codemasters that a lot of those issues are uh, down to licensing and copyright and all these things such as that because copyright and FOM and Formula One, they go together perfectly. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of licensing issues, which is the reason why they haven't been able to do it in the past but maybe with the addition of EA that could soon change so yeah just wanted to share that because if it is true it's some very exciting news and yeah my opinion just looking at this obviously you can't tell for certain but I feel like it would be quite difficult um, and whoever if it is fake then whoever's edited it has done an incredible job and definitely needs to be paid a lot more if they're not a graphic designer already. But yeah, please let me know what your thoughts are on this and what additions you would like to see to the game. And yeah, just finishing off this first race here, got against Mark Sosa, a very fast driver, a race with him BRS, which does return this weekend. Managing to take the W here. And yeah, the pace felt pretty good. So just for the second part of this video, we're going to be showing a race I did at Imola as well, because I think this is one of the best five lap races I've done so far. So we're going to be starting a P8 in this race. And Imola isn't an easy track to overtake in itself. So in the Mercedes here, let's see if we get a good launch. So the second phase is a very good launch. So you just have to be very patient on the power in this game at the start which I think quite a lot of people do struggle with it as unfortunately a little bit of instant there so we pick up three positions straight away and we've got BRS Josh and MV33 Red Bull who's one of the fastest drivers on Xbox as well so this should be a pretty good benchmark to go against as BRS Josh goes out wide and we get that extra traction coming off the corner and hopefully we should get this move done and going into here he leaves room on the inside so fair play to him and now we are up into p4 coming through into this section try to use all the track as much as we possibly can getting some good momentum coming off here coming through this chicane let's see what we can do here so we can slow in fast out have our first invalidation two more of those and we will be getting a time penalty but then coming into the penultimate corner, these two are going side by side. And no, Imola, pretty much like of every track in this game now, you really do have to be conservative with the battery. So you can see we're not using any of it here because BRS Josh isn't particularly attacking us. So we can afford to just save the ERS as much as possible. And coming through into here, goal is just to try and get as close as we can to try and pressure them into a mistake so going through this first sector let's see what happens here and uh, Red Bull gets a pretty poor run so it's thinking about maybe launching attack on the inside you can see we're going to get a really good exit coming off here and using just a little bit just to carry that momentum just continue that pressure try and force them into a mistake because that's really what you can hope for around here especially with how precious the battery is um, if you launch one attack on someone around this circuit then you've pretty much expended all of your ERS and it's quite hard to recover um, as well so coming off the exit here get a pretty good run so we're still not going to use the battery as I can tell Red Bull is using his battery now 
and just using a little bit. Are we going to go down the inside here? No, we don't. And that pushes HL347 out wide. They get a pretty good exit here. So we go use it here and he's not using it at all. So maybe he used a little bit too much on the previous apps and now we've got enough momentum to keep that going. And now we are up into P3. So some good progress here so far. Ripple goes wide and we're gonna take advantage of this using it here on the exit. Keep that momentum going. And now we're gonna be up into P2. So gaining six positions in the first three laps of this race. Going a little bit defensive just to deter him from going back down the inside. And now we're behind Aqua Airplane <laughs> 731, which I hope is a randomized uh, game attack, but nevertheless, it's a, a pretty cool one um, in the sense. And you can see he's going out wide here. I'm going to try and get this move done going down the straight on the next lap because you definitely want to be the car ahead in this game if you do have the ERS to use. Imagine to just came quite nicely, putting a bit of distance between myself and uh, Red Bull here. So, got 67% of the ERS remaining and we're just going to try and get as close as we uh, possibly can on the exit we get an absolutely great exit so we're not using it quite yet let him use his just a little bit now we've got the drs and i was trying to avoid using it as much as i could and we're just going to go down the inside here try and get side by side for the break zone outbreak him into this corner just to avoid him to have any opportunity to go around the outside and now we are up into p1 you can see these two guys are going side by side and Red Bull has had to use quite a bit of his energy to get that move done. So the goal now is to not use any of the battery until coming off the last corner itself. And you can see they've had a little bit of an incident here. So we have a bit of breathing room to do. And we've gone from P8 to P1 in this race. And this up here, I believe, is my Imola TT setup that I have posted so if you haven't seen that already uh, please check out my set players and also to know a few people said that the quality isn't great um, you need to change your quality settings from 480p to 1060 or 1080 60 fps because um, YouTube does default it to 480 or might be a connection issue on your end because unfortunately in this game when you're actually driving okay. The game does turn fairly fuzzy um, a little bit, but these are pretty much the best settings you can get when you're recording and with the YouTube progress compression as well. So hopefully it is um, still quite watchable. I feel like it is. Um, a lot of people just need to change their settings on their side. But going into this last lap, we are going to try to set the fastest lap of the race itself. And you can see on the minimap, it says we've done a purple sector but they still need to fix the sector times on the top hand, right hand side of the screen, which still hasn't been fixed yet. So that would be good to see that actually working. And that also leads me to the question, obviously we have these DLC tracks being added. Um, I don't know if these will be free or not. I hope they are, but yeah, do you think they should be focusing more on some fundamental issues? Um, because there are some decent issues in the game uh, particularly on the PC and other bugs that are occurring. Do you think Codemasters should be putting their resources elsewhere? Or yeah, just please just let me know uh, what you think. And what is your experience of the game as well? As we're coming across the line here, is it going to be the fastest lap of the race? Yes, it is. So we're doing the 8th to 1st here at Emila, which is definitely not an easy thing to do. But... Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for the support of the channel. Please make sure you sign up to Bybit, which they will be doing more F1 Paddock Pass giveaways in the future. www.coachlimits.com for 90 minute one-to-one -one sessions with myself. And I will be catching you very, very soon. Peace.